In this incredible nuclear revenge story, one man financially decimates an Andrew Tate wannabe, making him bankrupt, ruining his relationship, and even stealing his child. This story is mental. Let's go. This will be a long one, so grab some popcorn. Let me start with a little background. I am a 28-year-old man, and my wife is 26. We married three years ago, and we've been together for six years total. When we met, I was already in my third year of college for a special branch of a very productive industry, something like the US Army. You go to a different country for a few months, do some really dangerous jobs, get paid a lot, come back for a few months, and so on. In the beginning, I was going for six, eight, or even 10 months at a time in order to promote as fast as possible. Possible. Now, I earn around four years of medium salary in my country in just three months. It's a hard job, but I love it. My wife was very supportive, and I always knew that it's very hard for her to have this kind of lifestyle. I always try to spoil her and compensate her for my time spent away with tons of gifts and trips to exotic places. Two years ago, when I came home after an extended contract, I had to stay almost two more months because all flights and borders got shut down during COVID, but I did get an extra 20% salary during this time. She told me she can't take it anymore. She goes crazy alone at home and she has nothing to do. She lost her job during COVID and didn't want to work again after that, which I fully support because I want her to be happy and money wasn't a problem. I was petrified and at first I believed that she'd want to break up. Then she continued with, I love you so much and I want you to give me a baby so I can take care of him and have a little bit of you when you are gone on your contracts. After five months of hard work with no woman in a 100 kilometer range, making a baby was done very fast and multiple times just to be sure uh, if you know what i'm talking about i was nervous for the first month because we always feared we may not be able to make a baby for the first four years we didn't use any kind of protection except pull out and she never got pregnant but after a few weeks she wakes me up with a long kiss and a smile on her face then shows me her test results i was the happiest man alive everything changed I was a man now. I was a father. I was on top of the world. I was going with her to every doctor appointment. And during my contract, I was asking for ultrasounds instead of nudes. The birth had no complications and everything went amazingly. One month later, I'd go on another contract to make some money that should cover every need for our little baby. Halfway during this contract, I receive a text from my wife, which shattered my life. The text was short and simple, and I would never forget those four words that were sent to me in the deepest depression I'd ever had. I want a divorce. I didn't understand. I tried to call her to find out what happened and nothing. After a few days of talking back and forth, she said, I want a divorce so I can marry with the love of my life. I was already preparing my suitcase because I'd made a request to my company to send me back as an emergency. When I got home, she and the baby were gone. Two weeks later, I was in court to settle the divorce. During this time, I found out that she's had a lover for well over four years and she plans to marry him as soon as the divorce is done. Now, the laws in my country are different and I knew that my first priority should be a really good lawyer. My wife had a really trashy one and she decided to speak by herself without the help of the lawyer most times. Her whole idea was, I am a woman and he is never home. Well, even if the laws usually favor women in my country, cheating is considered to be a break of contracts, the wedding contracts. And she wanted to take full custody of our children in order for me to pay child support. I was not letting this happen. I speak with my lawyer and an accountant, and it seems that I only had to pay child support from my base salary. My bonus is not included in child support because it's for my life risk and it's mine alone. And because the company pays less taxes on that danger bonus, I have a lot of them and my base salary is around 10% of my income. When she found out that she would take almost nothing from child support and I gave her the option of me taking full custody of the child with a no contact rule and I'll never ask her for child support, she agreed in a second. Basically, she agreed to get out of our lives. We even changed the birth certificate of the child to me, the father, and just a blank space for the mother. She gave up any kind of claim on the baby. During the trial, her lover was asked to come as a witness, and the idiot agreed. He is an AliExpress version of Andrew Tate, an alpha man who treats women like trash, and this seems to turn her on. And he's got a pretty good income and has a small company. Yeah, less than half my salary, but he's always home, and it's still a lot for our country. Now, during the trial, he said they cheated behind my back for three years and that the baby is his and that she tricked me to make her a baby in order to not find out about her cheating. 
He said all this just to make me feel horrible, I guess, because this is actually kind of illegal. Something like alienating love and other law terms that my lawyer explained to me. He basically said that he knew that I was married, but decided to ruin the marriage anyway. Now, at this point, the child situation was already done and an agreement was signed. The judge asked my wife if it was true, and she said yes and ordered a DNA test just to confirm. After the DNA test confirmed what they'd said, the judge said that she'll let me cancel the agreement and settle the situation again with my wife now that the child is not biologically mine. I said, no, your honor, the child is mine and I want to keep him. The judge was stunned for a minute, but then she said, well, if the agreement is a valid contract and since you don't want to void it, then OP, you are a father and no one can take that child away from you. Now, in my country, it doesn't matter who the biological parent is. It matters who the parent is on the documents. And since my wife's lover knew he was the father from the beginning, but didn't come to the hospital to declare it, he automatically cancelled all of his paternal claims. It sounds stupid, but it makes sense. It's in order to protect the idea of a family. And if a man recognizes a fatherless child at the hospital, he shouldn't fear that the biological father will come back. It's in order to protect the value of family and encourage people to do a good thing and start a family and things like that. Now the divorce was over, I got my baby and my wife was out of my life. The first thing I did was to hire three babysitters to work eight hours a day so my child has 24-7 someone to stay with him and I have time to prepare my revenge. I started two separate companies with the help of an online assistant from India. You can hire them kind of cheap and they do whatever you need online. This guy made two super professional companies on an... uh, One industrial... This guy made two super professional companies, one in industrial credits, giving money to businesses for a lower rate than banks. And the second one was a copycat of my ex company, but this one was in the same city as his. Both were made just for one client, my ex-wife's lover. My assistant started sending tons of ads for my credit company to him. Emails targeted Google, FB ads, etc. I was sure that he knows that if he needs money, this is the place he can take a lot with low rates. Next, I made a lot of advertisements on the second company, But the company had only the machines and the rented space and only one worker, the cleaning lady. Every time somebody called for the company services, they got immediately declined because we're overbooked. My ex's lover, let's call him Dan, was one of them. Multiple times, actually. And he got mad every time he got rejected because he sees how big the competition is. Now it was the time to give him the bait. Because my company had some problems in the main country, I don't even know in which country this company was registered, they changed the management and wanted to make some fast profit, so the regional manager wanted to sell some of the equipments. When Dan heard this, he started calling and sending emails to buy them out. The response was something like, we are an international company. We can't sell the brand, but we can sell some equipments. It was illegal for me to sell the company without showing him the accountant's data, which was empty, of course but equipments I could just sell with a simple contract. He wanted the competition out of his city. He did not need the equipment. So the manager gave him a deal. If you buy our equipment for let's say three times the price, we can say in the contract that we won't do business again in this city. In just two hours, I received calls and emails to my first company for a credit for that equipment and blah, blah. I knew that Dan was out of money because he spent a lot on his future wedding with my ex-wife. I sent him a contract. Based on our evaluation, the equipment is not worth that money. So he'll need to give us a guarantee from his company. And he's not allowed to sell any equipment or parts of his company until he pays everything back. And if he's behind on a payment for six months straight, I get all of it. Also in the contract, I stated that the credit company will buy that equipment directly. Basically, I just give myself my own money. And I made sure every single word of the contract was legal and a deal was good enough for him to take. Later that same day, he sent me the signed contract. Now, normally he should be able to pay for everything, even if the clients he hoped he would get from this company leaving are not existent. He still should be able to pay if he gives me around 80% of his company income for the next five years. Fast forward a bit. On the day of his wedding, I go to give him an envelope. In my country, you give money in envelopes as a wedding gift. He started to laugh at me and tell me to get out because I'm not invited and he doesn't need my money. I smiled and I told him to open it. He looked inside and saw that I was expecting him to come into court next week. He laughed and asked, what is this? And I told him, see you in court. Enjoy your wedding night. The next week he came. I was suing him for child support. As I said in my country, if you are aware that you have a child and refuse to go to the hospital to recognize it, you are no longer the father, 
but you are still forced to pay child support and it's actually an increased rate because you tried to dodge responsibility like running from a car accident scene he didn't want to pay so he tried to say that he wants the child or co-custody that he's the biological and blood and whatever this made me happy because i wanted to drag the trial on as much as possible to drain him of all of his money but i couldn't after the judge saw all his declarations during the divorce trial she ended the trial really quickly forcing him to pay me 40 percent of his and therefore his company's income from the time the child was born until he finishes college or i get married and guess who didn't manage to pay and guess who is the new owner of his company now i don't work anymore i just run his company and spend almost all my time with my child all right so let's quickly recap you managed to get rid of your cheating wife get rid of the aliexpress andrew tate and also stop a child from having a terrible life with terrible parents oh and on top of that you made an unbelievable amount of money and you ruined a guy who just left his child at the hospital what a win just looking through some of the comments now people are saying how beautiful it is and how they hope that op and the kid are doing great and op has said that they are doing great they spend almost all their time together except when he has to go to work for about four to six hours a day but then the babysitter still come because he needs the help he wants his kid to have some feminine energy in his life too yeah it makes sense also his parents are very supportive i mean it just sounds like a brilliant you know relationship there what a man fair play to you and your family i just can't believe that for four years your wife was cheating on you i mean look i know it's not that uncommon but four years you away obviously but earning so much money to provide for her while she doesn't even work after covid yeah tough spot but still she's not actually earning any money that's just a fact yet she's the one cheating on you and obviously look it's hard for her when her husband is away for all that time i get it but you know it is kind of what she signed up for i presume that you talked about doing this job and that you are going to be away for a long period of time ah embarrassing but hey that is the uh the joy of life that's for sure.